while I've got the machine in this position, I just want to quickly show you how to relieve the pressure from the machine. This is something you probably do if you've got a blockage and the tip won't turn. If you want to do any maintenance or you just want to relieve the pressure so you can reel the hose in. For any reason you want to take the pressure out of this machine, really simple, I'll quickly show you. So as you can see, we've got pressure in the machine there. What we're going to do is turn the dial to zero and make sure uh, that the prime hose is actually being held or is either at least in the hopper so it can't just flick out. I'm going to hold it in this instant with my hand. I'm going to slowly release the prime valve down. This is going to relieve all the pressure. You will see the number go down. Simple as that. If you can do some maintenance, I'll then go on to turn the machine off. There's no pressure in this now. I can take the filter off if I want to. I can strip the wet end of the machine. I can pull apart the gun. There's no pressure left in the machine. Simple as that. So if you'd like to learn how to troubleshoot, set up, run, prime, clean down this machine, or any of the ever Greco machines or LS Blaster machines, all that information in detail is inside my Pure White Spray Plaster course. Of course, like many, you could just DIY it, go it alone. You could buy a machine and try and figure out on the way, but I guarantee you that you will come into problems and that's gonna cost you time and money. Mo the amount of people that have just tried to figure this out, it's not like it's very, very difficult to understand, but you do need to know the method and the procedure in which to work and how to run the machine. The amount of time that you will spend trying to figure it out or spamming the inboxes of people that do know, you might not get the answer you need straight away or even the correct advice. It's just gonna lead to more wasted time and wasted money. I wish the information that I've made available was available at the time I started, because I can guarantee it would have saved me thousands in wasted time. Not, not just the machine and the methods and how to use that, but all about the prep stage. We've got our taping knives. This is our Athena Finitec. These spatulas are something that we use. Put the ceiling line in from the floor. Really worked well on the corner. So, plaster is still. Got our corner roller and I'm gonna show you methods and how to use the tools, absolutely everything about it, going all the way up into pricing and social media, lighting, sanding, fans to use. I had to find my way all the way through it and it cost me so much time and money. So the main aim of my course is to get people off the ground running straight away, getting a return on your investment as quickly as possible. You might be thinking, well, I ain't got a machine yet, so I'm not gonna invest or start until I get a big job that warrants it. Firstly, these aren't just for big jobs, but that's where they really make their money. You need to learn how to use your machine. You need to get some hours on the gun before you take on the big job. When I got my machine at the very beginning, I started off doing some small domestic rooms. It wasn't ideal, but it was the place where I got to learn a lot. I got to get to know the machine. I got to spread some product and actually get used to it. If I took that onto a big job straight away, I'd have been learning everything I'd been, that I'd found out during that job and I wouldn't have been making much money, I'd have probably looked a bit silly. If I was, when I did it, it was on a nice small domestic property and I did a few of them until I really got confident and I was happy and confident to turn around to a builder or a contractor and say, no problem, I can take on your big project and I fly through it. So it was about getting started, it's about getting that information and knowledge, working your way up to getting a machine and get started on your first job as soon as possible, getting the ball rolling. Don't just assume that you're gonna wait for the big job and it's all gonna to come together straight away. I've tried to make the process as simple and as easy as possible, but there's always gonna be a learning curve. There's still time on the gun that you need before you should have the confidence to tell a big contractor you can do their grand design style project because it's not gonna happen like that, not straight away. So if you'd like to learn how to set up or troubleshoot this machine, prime it, clean it down, you've got the Mark V here, the APX there, We've got the Wagner 750 and any other airless spray machine that is popular. We've got a training for it and we go through the whole procedure as well as troubleshooting and everything you need to know about the machine. Of course, you could ignore all that and you could just get started by yourself like many do and try and figure it out by yourself. But that's gonna cost you time and money and definitely will bring you to a stop at some point. You'll be left with having to spam the inboxes of the people that do know, hopefully they reply. Hopefully it's the correct information and it's within the same time frame that you needed to get going again. 
course, I understand because I started without the information and knowledge, but that's because it wasn't available. And that's why I've put this course together, to get people to get off the ground running straight away and get a return on their investment much quicker. So if you're interested in earning more money inside plastering, but more importantly, making the job easier for you, less aches and pains, this is so much simpler. When we do this job, we barely break sweat. I'm still full of energy when I get home. If there's something you'd like to learn more about or actually get involved with, then click the link in the description and find out exactly how we do this. On much more meterage than I would with my skin. It's a lot easier on my body as well. Do you know what I mean? We've just sprayed three ceilings. I'm not feeling in my shoulder like I would hand applying it by trowel. Uh, it's a lot better than multi finish. Uh, let's put it this way. That ceiling went on there about three quarters of an hour. I didn't even break out into a sweat. <laughs>